Hello guys, it's me Fusa. Today uh, we're going to talk about who is a Nigerian citizen. And uh, before I could play a video for you to listen, who are a Nigerian citizen? What does it mean to be a Nigerian citizen? Uh, what make you to be a Nigerian citizen is uh, you will be um, treated equal right, and also you will be treated fairness. But according to what is going on in Nigeria today, I think there is no equal right here because there is no fairness. Whereby the 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 politicians are see the masses as a slave, they enslave us, and also uh, they dictate whatever we are going to do. Whatever they did evil in that country, they always go away with it. So today you will be learning how you how to know whether you are a citizen or you are not a citizen or you are a citizen to nigeria or you are a slave to nigeria okay so um before i could show you the video please subscribe to our channel give a thumbs up if you like the video please your opinion is very needed okay you can um, comment below on this video and share your opinion so if you are watching youtube please subscribe and if you are watching in Facebook, your comment is needed and tell us whatever you think concerning this video. So let me show you a video and and see whether you are a real citizen or a slave. You see, I think one of the problems the Nigerian state has with me, or that my critics have with me, is that I don't accept words at their face value. If you say I'm a citizen, what does it mean? Can the meaning of the word citizen be different in Nigeria, I mean one thing in Nigeria, I mean another thing in other countries that we consider civilized or democratic. It cannot. It's an English word. It has a meaning. And I say without equivocation, the Nigerian is not a citizen. Who is a citizen? Number one, let us understand that the word citizen does not exist in a vacuum. It exists within a legal construct. A citizen or the word citizenship is predicated on the equality of persons who live within a geographical space. Equality. Now, equality can only be found in a place that is ruled by law. If you do not have rule of law, you cannot have citizenship, which is why in feudal England, in the days of the English kings, before the Magna Carta and the subsequent pieces of legislation that served to establish the rights of citizens, the king was the absolute ruler and the king's word was essentially law. The members of the aristocracy reserved the right to do as they pleased with their serfs. And it was the same in medieval Europe. It was also the same. All of, in most of the known world, when you have a movement away, first it usually starts with a sort of theocracy. And then you have theocracy mixing up and then it becomes like um, a monarchy. And that's why you speak to the duality of the king's powers temporal and spiritual, both in, even in Yoruba custom. But as the powers of the individual, the ruler, is curtailed, as his powers are curtailed and powers are ceded to the citizens, his rights are recognized, the serfs emerged and became citizens. And then you begin to talk about the equality of persons under the law. And we begin to talk about the rule of law, which means that the king 
royalty is treated exactly the same as the person who was once a commoner, even though you might have privileges based on economic superiority of some sort. But when it came to their treatment before the law, they treated exactly the same. However, when a system is not predicated on the equality of persons, it means that you have variable membership of a society, such as you had in South Africa. The South African was still a South African, but there was an appetite policy which treated human beings completely separate. But it is easy to spot in South Africa because you're dealing with racial division. In Nigeria, the classes are stratified. So membership of the Nigerian state is predicated on membership of an economic or political class. So your access to justice or injustice, the administration of impunity that governs Nigeria in place of law has guaranteed that the people are not equal at any level, either economically or politically. So that inequality based on the variable levels of membership has assured that there is no citizenship. So if a member of the oppressive class has a grouse and he takes it before the judiciary, they find dates miraculously to hear those cases rapidly. In fact, the bigger the two combatants, the quicker the matter runs through the court system. But a Nigerian citizen is probably still in a prison somewhere, as I know some are in Oyo State, and I know some were in Lagos State, at least as recently as last month, because they were arrested in the wake of NSAS. So 14 months after they were arrested, none of, some of them had never seen a courtroom. And you call them citizens. So I'm saying very clearly that it is not enough to label a person a citizen. The fact of a citizenship must be demonstrable. It ennials in the equality of persons and the rule of law. None of those can be found in Nigeria. So how do you speak to the equality of persons or to the citizenship of the persons who live in that space? You cannot have citizenship in a place that is not ruled by law. Nigeria is ruled by impunity. It is structured to be governed by impunity. It is not rulable by law under the current governance system. It cannot be subjected to law. So you are not a citizen, and neither am I. The knowledge, though, ensures that I am not a victim because I'm constantly finding ways to ensure that I equalize and working in the knowledge of the evil that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis by virtue of my membership of the Nigerian state makes it that much more tolerable. But self-delusion has never been my thing. The Nigerian is not a citizen. And incidentally, that's why I refuse to, to proceed on that stupid thing they call NYSC. You want me to serve a country that does not see me as a citizen? We're on TV, so don't let me. So, guys, um, you just listen to the video. Now, how do you see yourself? Did you see yourself as a citizen of Nigeria? I don't know. But according to whatever that is happening right now, I don't, say, I don't think that everyone is a citizen of Nigeria because there is, that country is a, law, is a lawless country. So for that reason, to me, uh, we are all victims to Nigeria, okay? So if you have anything to say concerning this issue, please leave it below and I want to hear from your own opinion. Are you in Nigeria? If you are in Nigeria, please leave it in the comment below. So thank you very much for watching my video. I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.